to in this video i've already done all my natural nail prep work apply my tips cut to shape apply my clear base and now i'm coming in with cjp smashed peach one of the stunning new colors i'm using my big boy brush as well so just apply that color at the tip and fade it back down towards the cuticle area and when i'm happy with that fade i come in with another new colour, um, Slush Fairy, applying where that orange ends and just blending that up into that colour. And then apply my cuticle bead, obviously getting as close to the cuticle as possible without touching it. Get my brush right behind that bead, making sure it's nice and flush and then just blending the top of that bead into the previous application. Applying a tiny bit more if needed, just to make sure that blends nice and flawless. So on this nail, I'm applying a bead of Heat Wave, another new colour. It's just a wash of colour all over the nail as a base for some glitter. And I always tend to do this when I'm applying a full glitter nail, so it's got a nice colour base underneath. So I'm going to dip into clear, picking up a tiny bead, and then into a loose glitter it's a really old one. I think my client actually bought me this glitter, so I have no idea where it's from. It's just a nice coral with a lovely sort of gold shimmer to it. So just apply that at the cuticle and fade it up. And then at the tip, I'm applying um, one of the Glitter Fairy Indian Summer Collection glitters, the orange one. Absolutely love these glitters i bought it in a stack and i use it all the time and just blend that down into the finer glitter so it's a nice sort of glitter fade i'll come back and cap in crystal glass just checking your apex while you're doing it to make sure it's in the right place And this nail is Heatwave Ombre. So on this nail, I'm applying a full nail of Slush Fairy. So applying quite a large bead at the cuticle and then walking the rest of it down the nail with the belly of my brush.
And then applying those two glitters again, the fine one first, just in sort of an S shape on the nail, uh, blending it out so it's nice and blended, not harsh. And then the glitter fairy glitter over the top. Again, just blending those edges out so it's not just a straight line of glitter. And then capping those two nails when I'm happy. And the thumb is another glitter ombre. Uh, we're using smashed peach as a base this time instead of heat wave. And on to my usual filing technique, so starting off just refining those side rolls, making sure they're nice and crisp, and bringing my file sort of up and over while I'm holding it nice and flat. And then just refining that free edge and coming round and contouring first side wall round the cuticle area and up the other side wall and then down the barrel of the nail and checking your apex at all times and making sure your product's all nice and even when I'm happy with the shape I'll come in with a white block buffer to remove any scratches
So then remove all the dust and wipe over with acetone and then apply my CJP tack free top gloss to all the nails and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed.